everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Bello. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you're a friend of mine. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Um, I'm so excited tonight because I can finally share with you that super secret project that I've been working on and hinting about. It is finally done, and I know you've seen the thumbnail, so it's not going to be a huge secret anymore, but... I turned an old 1860s pump organ, uh, East Lake style pump organ into a bar. And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I just dropped it off yesterday at the Shops by the Lake, which is at 1871 Northridge Road, Painesville, Ohio. Uh, of course, I'm gonna take you on the whole journey. I'm gonna show you how we did it. It became a family project and you're going to see it from beginning to end, and I'm thrilled to share that with you. So before we do that, I have a couple of things of business. Number one, I want to thank my friend Pam. She invited me to do a sale with her last Thursday on her channel, Kibi's Collectibles. We had a great time, super fun sale, and I got to meet a bunch of her viewers, and I was so grateful for that. So if any of you have come over to my channel, hello. I'm so glad to know you now. <laughs> we had a good time. And the one thing that I wanted to share with this audience who may not have seen that sale is this necklace because I wore it to the sale and then I forgot. I never told y'all about this and it's kind of exciting. So I wanted to tell you about this real quick. At the end of 2019, when I was getting ready to launch my website, I decided, what the heck, let's add some jewelry at the last minute and bought a couple of boxes that were like 17 and like 20 pounds or something crazy. And this was a piece that was in it. <laughs> and it was a piece that I kind of threw to the side because not in my head there was no way that this was real turquoise so it may have been cool looking but i thought it's fake i googled how to tell the difference between real turquoise and man-made turquoise and there's a scratch test you just take a sharp object and scratch and faux turquoise you can scratch Real turquoise, you can't. I have a huge slab turquoise necklace. I'm not sure of the circumstances for why I, you know, found it or pulled it out, but it was one of those things that when I did, I was like, yeah, I know a little bit more now. I'm seeing like these natural, you know, fissures and stuff. Maybe it actually is turquoise and yeah, it is. And it's fabulous. Uh, You know, I put it on and now it's like, it just feels like, it's supposed to be worn. So y'all might see it a little bit more now. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Okay. Second order business. I want to thank y'all so much for participating in my first drop auction. If you missed it, you're going to have an opportunity to see the next one and probably many more. So this was a brilliant concept from our friend Richard, the vintage art guy. If you have not subscribed it to his channel, please do that. You will not regret it. Um, he came up with this idea. He's had a couple auctions himself. Um, I had one and it was a great success. The feedback was amazing. So we're going to do it again. <laughs> I've already picked the things. I'm going to record that video today. Um, I will, of course, give you a sneak preview. Uh, let's do that right here. some cute things. They're all going to be up for auction. They're all going to be at very low bids to start and we'll see what happens again. That is going to air tomorrow night. You'll have a couple of days to bid so I will close it on Friday. Um, if you missed the last one, I can post that here so you can just go take a look at how the format was and you can take a look at how people bid. The really nice thing is when you bid on something because I put the things in the comments 
uh, somebody outbids you, you get that notification from YouTube that somebody outbid you and you can go right back and check it out. So it just works out so perfect. I absolutely love the last one and I think people thought that was so much fun. So we're just going to do it maybe on a week to week basis. Um, I may not do when I do a live, which happens next week. Um, I probably won't do a uh, drop auction and a live. I don't know, that may change in the future, but not next week. Next week, we're just gonna do a live. Um, and that's gonna be on Tuesday next week. So a week from today, um, we're gonna do another live. I'll bring some stuff to that to sell as well. But y'all know, I like to chat. So come chat with me, absolutely no pressure. I don't really sell. I just kind of say, hey, I got a couple of things. If you like them, feel free to buy them. If not, I have other places I can sell them. So anyway, that's going to happen next Tuesday. Don't miss that. If you have missed it in the past, we just have a goofy good time. And I hope that you come and engage with us because that's my favorite part. I think that's it. I think that we need to go see this super secret project I've been working on. I'll share the whole journey with you. It became a family project and I'm really happy. So let's go check it out. The story starts well over a year ago when my sister and my mom were at Classy Consignments. It is a little shop in Jefferson. Actually, it's not so little. It's got two parts and upstairs and in the back building, they spotted this big pump organ and they sent me a picture of it and we all were ooing and aahing and I said, oh my gosh, that would make such a cool bar. Earlier this year, my friend Julie and I were here in this back building of Classy Consignments and we saw it again and I thought, oh my gosh, it's still here. And they were asking very little for it. I think they were interested in just moving it out. Um, and I ended up getting it for $50. $50. I thought for that price, I have to figure out if I can do something with this. So Marcus was so kind, he brought his trailer over and me and Earth and my dad and Marcus and my nephew Timo. Um, we loaded it up, got it out of here and got it over to my dad's uh, garage so that we can work on it there. Here's just a scene of us all seeing it for the first time, kind of investigating. This is a non-working organ. so. It wasn't something that could be repaired or used. And there are a lot of these out there in the world. Um, there's just not enough people who want to own them or who play them. So this guy has been sitting for a long time and it was time for him to become something new. About my age, you can lift it up. This is Sterling <laughs> Company. I, I had this side up there. Yeah, yeah. But you lifted it up a little bit. So Derby, it's... Connecticut. So we're probably travel with this closed right yeah yeah so i'm gonna get the parts here we have I, the I parts we have here well we... that's what i was wondering is this because this isn't like really stable we should see if it's got screws on the back or anything if it should come off well you'd have to take it off here oh, yeah one big huge screw sticking out back here I don't know. Whoa. We yeah, could know. take we could take the top off of it too. There's only a couple of screws. Got the top off. Tops in here. You got the ratchet in? Yeah. Oh ratchet's over here. We got the right family for the job. Here's our supervisor right here. Yup, supervisor Timo. Supervisor, right there. That's what I told the lady in there. I was, I was supervisor. <laughs> okay, well now. It's pretty big and pretty heavy. I said that's okay. I'm just gonna supervise. Right. Junior and senior. Exactly. Don't seem right. So Head supervisor. <laughs> junior supervisor. There it is. Going down the road. Sleepy Town, Jefferson, Ohio. I shouldn't say Sleepy Town. <laughs> uh, like three three stoplight town, Jefferson, Ohio. Just a mile or two up the road, we're at my folks' house, and the guys were able to pull it into the garage in a blink of an eye. I couldn't believe how easy they made that look. 
It was lighter than we thought. I thought it was yeah, I thought pounds. it was going to weigh yeah. hundreds and hundreds of pounds. I think pianos weigh 400 pounds. Well, yeah, yeah. People. we got a oh, yeah. piano in there that weighs twice this. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. We've removed the back of it completely. Now you can see the inner workings. That's what did we decide, Marcus? That's the bellows. Like that's where the air this here, yeah, goes in. Big air box. So it's kind of hollow in there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it looks like dirt, but that's not dirt. That's what they used to spray in there. <laughs> I think it's dirt. <laughs> I think it's dirt. <laughs> and then this piece here used to go up in here and come down over the keys but i'm envisioning this becomes a bar top and then mom had this great idea that we actually remove the bellows and turn this panel into a door where when we see behind here we can possibly have some storage and i think i think we're going to keep these little details and then you can see here the top is down here but it's going to be perfect to hold the bottles right in here and some glasses hanging underneath and these little details are so beautiful what do you think mom uh, i think it's going to be a treasure i think it's going to be really it's a cool rescue treasure a rescue treasure that's what we do at yoso boho i think we're going to remove this panel here and use this as the bar and put a piece of plexiglass on top of it and then light up underneath it so the bar has some light coming through it. Since we decided we were going to investigate putting some storage of some sort underneath, my sister went ahead, used her sawzall to cut out the bellows. And here she is doing that. She is amazing with power tools and so much braver than me. She just jumps in, takes charge, gets it done. It's so cool to watch her work. Now I need a screwdriver with a flathead to pull this whole thing off of here. Okay, well, let's do that. Wow. So that thing had, that was the actual bellows. Does that thing, is that thing separated by, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then a big one in the back, cause that was also attached with some fabric. All right, so we have it gutted now completely. All the bellows are out and we are going to remove these panels, this one here and this one here from the back so that we can insert some wine racks here and here. So this panel with the petals will stay so you can see a little bit of the integrity of the old organ. And I'm even gonna keep these, these are knee um, I don't know what their official name is, but you use your knees um, to change the volume or something. I'm not quite sure. It's starting to come together. The vision is there. It's going to be cool. So we got these from Amazon. And these will go in here. Mom's gonna go get some wine glasses so we can see exactly how to space them, but they're gonna be attached here. This is on the underneath side. So my dad made a guide where they will all sit kind of even in that space, um, both side to side and back to front. And we looked at several different glasses. So we knew we could get bigger and smaller size glasses to fit in here. Worked out perfectly. There were some extra pieces that came with the organ, including That's some good. keys. Yeah, and I think I think you're right. We just need to right glue right that there. right on there. Yep, look, that's gonna be fine. Yep. It's gonna be underneath the, the plexiglass. We're not gonna be having no. a... You can barely, barely tell just 
sitting yeah, down there. Yeah, when I looked right down at it, you couldn't see. Look away. But I do like the character of these. Yeah, shipped. I mean, yeah. I mean, we could potentially, if we wanted to, use one more. Do one. Maybe that bad one right there. Yeah. Yeah. We could do that. Oh, I couldn't even tell the difference. <laughs> You can barely, you can I barely know, see especially it. if you look away and then yeah. look down at it, you can't really tell. No. Yeah. My dad and my sister figured out exactly how to build the boxes that will hold six bottles of wine on each side of the underneath side of this organ, and here they are constructing them. My mom and I set up a table here and we stained the boxes just in a dark stain that would match uh, the organ, some of the details of the organ. And uh, you can see here all the pieces, every single piece of wood that we used to construct these wine holders was actually pulled from the inside of the organ. So these are pieces of the bellows and other panels. And I think that's so awesome and unique. Good mom. Mm. Oh, I don't know if I got all in there like you did. Here are the completed storage boxes going into the organ. You can see, let me show you this one over here. Um, they fit in there pretty well. There had to be some planing done to uh, squeeze them in, but look at them. And look at this. We got the bar top on. I got some brass. Uh, screws that we recessed down in there and you can see the keys peeking through. I took that panel off of that uh, cover there and even under here you can see I've run some LED light strips so we can get some light that's going to shine right down on the bar. We are moving and grooving. And while mom's finishing up here on the bar top, my sister is sanding the edge down on the plexiglass was just slightly too big so that we can get that on. And let's take a look at the final results. really bugged me and that was the petals. The petals to me look like an eyesore so mom was so gracious and she gave me this piece of fabric that I think works beautifully for the petals and here we are loading it up to take it to the shops and hopefully somebody is going to see it there and need to have it in their life. So what do you think? Is it something that would fit in your house or your style or your decor? <laughs> I would love to have it here, but my house is too small. It's just too small for it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And when we wheeled it in to the shops yesterday, um, late in the day, all of the vendors had to ooh and ah over it. And um, I'm sure everybody who walks into the furniture room at the shops will ooh and ah over it. But I also know that it's going to take one special person who sees it who's like, oh, that's exactly what I want in my life. <laughs>
<laughs> so let's hope that that person walks into the shops by the lake. Of course, I'm going to share it out on several other platforms and, uh, you know, maybe put a little bit of money behind it so that people in the area know that it's sitting there. But hopefully it goes home with someone who's going to love it for eternity. Um, it's it's been a special thing to me because it was a family project. Oh, thank yous, like big gigantic thank yous to my mom and my dad and my sister for all of the work that they put into this project, um, especially my sister. She is a whiz. Um, she comes up with great ideas. My my dad and her can kind of visualize, um, you know, things that, that I just can't do. I have ideas too, but my ideas are limited by what I can do, like with a tool, <laughs> which isn't much. <laughs> and my mom's ideas can get real big and she's just like, ah, let them figure it out. <laughs> but they did. Um, my mom's idea with the storage underneath the, uh, the bar was fantastic. And my dad and my sister pulled it off. That was amazing. So... I'm so lucky to have them and I was really lucky to be able to, you know, save this piece and give it new life um, with their help. So, all right. So I will see you all tomorrow briefly for that drop auction. Make sure you check it out. And then I'll be back on Thursday with a Goodwill shop along at the Kent Ravenna area Goodwill. Um, I was there with my aunt. So I uh, hopefully we'll see you a couple of times this week. Um, until then, please take care and I'm going to end with Richard's channel. If you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe, help him out. Thank you so much. I will see you in a day or two. Bye.